Hello everybody, this is Starman and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I am the Doctor. Well, as you can see, we're here in the Aces Theater and as promised, How's it hanging? I am How's it hanging? just fine, thank you. Uh, Those Legion Elite troops are bad blood. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? Had a bit. And yeah, nothing worse than people That's who talk at the theater. Oh, yes, I am. Thank you. Anyway, uh, as promised, we're going to watch all of the acts that we've recruited here for the Aces Theater before going on to something else. Now, getting this to trigger is a bit tricky sometimes, but I've managed to time this to where we're just about before the top of the hour. And the first act to go on is our buddy the Ghoul insult comic. Ding, ding, baby. Wonder where Benny got off to. Those cons got the hint. So wait until a little bit before one, he should head up on his own. Yeah, yep, right on cue. And the insults he gives are based on your stats. It's uh, great to be up here, looking down at all your smiling faces. That won't last long. Somebody told me the other day you were bright. I wasn't sure if you meant smart or radioactive. Swank is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Take yourself at home, Swank. Hat. Hit somebody. Was that suit made to order? It was. And where were you at the time? This guy's so sharp-eyed, he cuts himself every time he blinks. <laughs> hey, look at this guy. I didn't know they let Brahmin into this joint. I hear you got a ready wit. Tell me when it's ready. Buddy, you look tough enough to drink a pint of glowing water. Why don't you do us all a favor and try it? The more I think of you, the less I think of you. How about a hand for the Rad Pack, the band that inspired that great saying, Stop the music! And talk about your quick reflexes. This gal is so fast, she beat me to the punchline. Look at you. You look like a talent scout for a cemetery. You know, some people have all the luck. Some people, not you. And yeah, that's fair. Quick reflexes. This guy is so fast, he beat me to the punchline. If you had your life to live over again, let me make a suggestion. Things are getting stranger Play every day. Play in traffic. And that is apparently his act. How's it hanging? Hey. And the next one will start at three. Yes, it's the amazing smoking ghoul, everyone. Okay, yeah, he's hopping off, and I think Billy Knight will be the next one on. I've heard that Securitrons are gastrier than ever. Caesar. Wonder where Benny got off to. You again. You should meet my bookie. Ring a ding, baby. Yeah, not the best view of the stage, but don't I just look great in that dapper suit? How's it hanging? Those Legion Elite ding, troops baby. are bad blood. Well, the game may be doing us a favor, but, uh... Honestly, Billy's act is terrible. Okay, there we go. It's great to be here at the tops, folks. The Ramam Inn has a lovely little closet. A nail, ho! They really care about your privacy here at the tops. Even room service has an enlisted number. What? I hear James Garrett drove 5,000 head of Brahmin to New Reno. No bodies, just the heads! Hey, what about that suit Benny wears? If I had a suit like that, the ladies would be all over me. What, you expect a punchline? The guy pays my salary, it's true! I bought my wife a little car here in New Vegas, an Omerta. It has a hood under the hood. Ay ay ay. Oi. I take my wife everywhere, but somehow she keeps finding her way back. I did it! I've been in love with the same woman for 17 years. 
If my wife ever finds out, she'll kill me. No! My cousin and his wife are a fastidious couple. She's fast, and he's hideous. Ha-cha-cha! I know a guy. His motto is love thy neighbor. He lives next to a brothel. Sounds oh, no. like Mr. House is in some kind of Caesar's trouble. fate was sealed from the start. To put your money on either side You'd of the coming battle. You'd be crazy to put your money on either side of the coming battle. Well, at least the audience... At least the audience waited until after the act was over to start talking this time. Looks like Will was just gazing up at him adoringly, isn't it? All right, and... Waiting on the third. Waiting on the third of the high tops. Okay, he's got to... Yeah, the rad pack, not the... High Tops does sound like it should be the name of a, you know, 50s jazz group, though, doesn't it? Not much to this act, although you music trivia buffs may be interested to know that the song they're dancing to is called Manhattan. Yeah, they can do this all night. And they probably will. Still going. I hear a troublesome Legion camp got raised to the ground. Things are getting stranger every day. Sure, later. Sure, later what? All right, well, here comes... Things are getting stranger every day. Shh! That's the guy who kills season. You dig this crazy scene or what? Ring a ding, baby. Ring a ding, baby. I honestly do like this. Now those green clouds and those birds 
I dig this crazy sleigh. I hope Swank's smarter than Benny. It's Swank smarter than Benny. Caesar's fate was sealed from the start. Hey, you mama, what's the haps? Well, JT liked it, it seems. I think after this, the Lonesome Drifter will run on up. Evening. Yeah. The Rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. And the Lonesome Drifter is supposed to be the 10 o'clock act. Howdy there, partner. I wonder where Benny got off to. Wonder where Benny got off to. Eh, what the heck, we'll sit here for 21 hours and wait for his performance to come back around. Like I said, the timing of this can be glitchy, and the uh, last time I tried running this, everybody except our buddy the Blues Man wound up uh, going up without a hitch, but it skipped over him and went right to the Lonesome Drifter for some reason. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. wonder where Benny got off to. Season. All right, here we go. Wait, hold on. I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. Which one? I raised so many at this point. Nice adaptation. Not there. You think this crazy scene what? And my skins are not growing all day. I'm on the range.
then yeah, that is thing, all of the acts that we help to bring to this Our place. Are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. Gives you a warm feeling, doesn't it? Of course, that could just be the radiation. So, with that done, I thought that next on our itinerary would be finding some of the rest of the collectibles for Willow's little sub-quest of finding stuff. You might recall that we found quite a few collectible teddy bears here and there. But we have not found all of them, although checking a list, we have this gotten most of them. Exactly like I imagined it would. Drunks, lights, hookers, it's perfect. Yeah. But in addition to the teddy bears, there are other items that we can retrieve for Willow. Yeah? Take this, you bitch! Ah, and I still have the camera rather than my weapons. Luckily... One punch. Anyway. Uh, I had mentioned before when we came to the Thorn that there did not seem to be any way to get in to uh, Red Lucy's quarters without doing her quest. I was, in fact, mistaken. And it's currently closed, but... Thankfully, one of the other places we need to get to is here in Westside. I heard all over. Because we did journey to the co-op before as part of our shopping trip with Willow, but there was an item we overlooked that we can just grab for her. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of stuff here. Sugar... Red Toaster, which looks I'll be like a TARDIS, only red. Welcome back. How can I help you? And no Sunset Sarsaparilla, sadly. See you later. Because we do still need to find all the caps for that challenge. But I'm going to do that part off-camera, because while there are handy lists telling you set locations where to find them, it's going to be kind of tedious for me to run through those on-camera. So, we'll go ahead and wait until morning, when the thorn is open. And I need to head back here anyway, because uh, somehow when we went through this earlier, this is where Eddie got set to not follow me. So we got our little robot friend back. Yeah, it turned out I hadn't fully circled around. Because Red Lucy's quarters are back here. And she must have a bottle of cologne called Intuition.
So I hear the Hans were one of them strip families up and disappeared. Poof. Yeah, we'll find his body somewhere. Anyway. Now I'll need to talk to Will to double check this, but I believe of the teddy bears, we have five of them. Okay, so we have Barely. We have Golf Our Bear, which you get from the golf base. We got Private Bear, we got SW Bear. So we're missing three of them, if I remember correctly. Now, one of the ones we're missing. It's over in the Repcon building. And yeah, you can tell it's been a while since we've been here. All of the... <clears throat> ghouls have respawned. Thankfully, where we need to go is through the back entrance. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Because, yeah, you'll remember here at the rocket launch site, we didn't really look around too much here, but if you check over on the shelf, Cybear, and, yep, that's five of six, so we actually are missing one more. And thank you so much. It's so special. I love it. And yeah, we can only give her one special gift a day. But we'll go ahead and wait a day and give her everything now. Let me do a backup save to uh, keep going with this in case stuff crashes. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, bud. What's up? Bears is in Nipton of all places. I've got your back. And yes, the scorpions have respawned. Eddie's accuracy still hasn't improved much, and curiously enough, yeah, yeah. the Legion Mongrels respawned. <laughs> but we did not come here to fight Scorpions and Legionnaires, or Legion Mongrels. We came here because in this house, across from the trading post, for some reason, if we check the bedroom, there is another plushy bear. And the final bear that we're missing is at a place that we discovered but did not explore 
Because I really didn't think there was much here unless you uh, kill the powder gangers, who I am still. Raising that plane off the bottom of the lake is one of the neatest things I've ever seen. Whoosh. Well, a bit of a delay on that, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Anyway, we check out this one hidden behind the lantern. Atomic Ted. Congratulations, you've completed Willow's Teddy Collectible Challenge. Enjoy your rewards, and remember, if you've chosen to keep all the bears in your inventory, you can turn them into non-quest items with the menu in the bungalow. Because, yes, we can display some. We now have Pink Death. And that was enough to make us level. Which, I think I'll go ahead and put points into Barter. And bump Lock Pick up so I can do Simple Doors. And we'll put the rest in Repair. Oh, and we do get a Perk. Yeah, educated, not much use to us at this point. Living Anatomy allows you to see the, hammock, uh, the health and damage threshold of any target. It also gives you a plus 5% bonus damage against humans and non-feral ghouls. Quick draw, rad resistance... It does seem like a very doctory thing to know, so we'll go with that. And we'll go ahead and take the ammo. Best to lay low. But, uh, yeah. As for what we just got... The Pink Death Fedora and Pink Death... The NCR and the Legion are about to have it out. Oh, well, there's a hostile. Let's go ahead and test this out on them. Though I suspect that's probably Death Claws down there. Yep, that is definitely Death Claws down there. Well, what the heck. It's been a while since we've had a good old fashioned Death Claw fight, and I'm kind of curious how Pink Death works. Ooh, nice scope. Well, that does seem to be a handy little perk, doesn't it? Nice job, Eddie. Oh, 
Now it looks like there's one more. We might as well go for the full set of steak knives. Ah, uh, it's a phasing death claw, the worst type. I like this gun, but I think it might do uh, more damage in Willow's hands, so uh, I think we will go ahead and close this chapter out here, and next time we will finish getting the rest of Willow's collectibles, but I think, given that one of them is in the Sunset Sarsaparilla Vault, I'm going to go get 50 caps off camera rather than make you watch me check all these places looking for them. And next time, we will start at the Sunset Sarsaparilla Vault and see what this challenge is all about. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.